the newest Swordmasters, looking pretty strong, looking kind of old, looking kind of mean. And the prophecy, not a prophecy, there's like a rumor, some kind of legend that he ate a dragon. Because remember, why is Valifor has to be protected? Dragons are beings that people want to eat, grind up their bones, drink their blood because it might give them crazy powers. But the Swordmaster doesn't seem evil. When we were talking with Chastile, right? He even wanted the sword to be returned, and he was shitting on the bureaucrats of the church. Which makes me think that the old man is misunderstood, and hear this out. What if we had a grandpa out of to our family? Yes, we have a wife and a daughter now, but what if we have a grandpa that's gonna give four a head pads? Could you imagine if the new Swordmaster is that kind of character? At the end of the episode last time, he showed up at the bar. Looking like he wants to pick a fight, but maybe we're jumping to conclusions. Let's begin today's reaction. What an imposing no, man. Damn. <laughs> He's just here for good drinks, right? <laughs> okay. I didn't know bro had conquered his hockey. Bro just stared once. The intimidation made this girl pass out, dude. That's insane. How so cool? Hockey. So he uses a two. Oh, Sit down, yeah, bro. Yeah, Sit yeah. down. Okay, so I got did that. I thought Raphael did that. Yeah. I think again, misunderstandings, right? Grandpa. Grandpa. And the legend that he got this scar while fighting a dragon? Probably a lie. Or, no, 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 maybe not a lie, but the fact that he drank or something, probably a lie. Nah, he's gonna be like a grandpa. The Angelic Knight situation sounds like a mess I'd rather not get involved in. What a fucking long episode title. Mountain of a man is correct. <laughs> he's near, just, he just existed. He just looked at her. She's dead. <laughs> Clout leeching. Did he actually slay a dragon? Bald. <laughs> no, I don't think Raphael judges a book by its cover. Basically, he just maintains the peace here, right? Snuff out the embers that risk becoming an inferno. Takes out the bad sorcerers before it gets too bad. He's a good person, right? Body count of 500 is crazy. いままで敵対したやつらの中で一番手がかった。くらいには思っている。で、十分な脅威になるわけか。うん。話が見えないが。境界が処分を決定するには十分な理由だ。あいつに合わせておけばいいものを。She's the bro just want to come check out Zagan and then also talk about Chastil so that he could, you know, bring Chastil in? Is, is, is Raphael just being a good guy looking out for his fellow comrades? Is he? No, maybe this is also a misunderstanding. I think we're jumping to conclusions again. Holy shit. Okay, Zagan. I also didn't know this. This town happens to be my territory? Huh. E ever since he became an Arc Demon, or even before he became an Arc Demon, was this entire town his territory? I didn't know that. I thought he just kind of lived nearby and kind of sometimes helped out. I thought people were scared of it until Nephi showed up. Now that he goes into town with Nephi, people are very happy, but after, right? After, got it. <laughs> Because it's like a transfer of ownership from Marcos Yes to him. <laughs> Raphael respects it, maybe. There we go! The kind of evil the church would dedicate its resources is snuffing out. The kind of evil. Well, uh, no, I read that wrong. I thought he was kind of calling the church evil. Well, he must, like, 
I don't think he's as simple as like a random soldier that takes orders. He can think for himself, right? The church is evil. But the statement here is the kind of evil the church would dedicate its resources to snuffing out. And the kind of evil in this context is referring to Zagan. But I don't think, you know, Raphael truly feels that Zagan is evil. <laughs> No, that's grandpa, bro. He going babysit Valafor. <laughs> you want him to go fight him? <laughs> Dude, wonder what Chaskil is doing right now. Is she under a bridge, <laughs> sleeping with newspapers? We got a lot of money though, right? Good friends, man. Oh, Nephi stood up. On the chair. She was ready on the chair. Mm, hello. Our child is sleeping. They got like a matching pajamas, dude! Why is she so goddamn adorable, dude? That determined look on that little face is too goddamn cute. And then she wanted head pads to be complimented afterwards. That's not a flag, right? We're gonna have to do that, right? You really think that Raphael is the person that killed her parents? No way, right? The coincidence would be crazy. I don't even know if he's truly a dragon slayer. He hasn't really confirmed or denied it. And who knows even when the timeline here this is, right? Like, if Four can live for such a long time, I don't even know how old she is right now. She must be at least a couple hundred years old, right? I actually don't know. No, I don't want it to go down like this. I would love it if he just joined our family as the grandfather figure. It would be just perfect. That was <gasps> oh. oh, what a moment. You gonna kiss? Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold up a second. <laughs> Have Nephi's eyelashes always been this long? <laughs> I mean, I think so, yes. <laughs> Going for that chew! Her ears are so erect, man. That ain't the only thing that's wet. Four's gonna wake up, right? Four is gonna wake up and kind of like ruin the mommy-daddy romance moment, right? Four! <laughs> Barbatos, fuck you! Come on, man! It's not even the kid walking, it's fucking Barbatos! Come on, man! You couldn't have waited like fucking 10 more seconds! Oh, <laughs> god damn it, dude. Alright, what's the problem? <laughs> <laughs> you picked the worst timing, bro. So, like... Oh, there's Chastiel. But, like, has Nephi... What is the most intimate Nephi and Zagan has been? They haven't kissed yet. They've kind of held hands. They haven't kissed, right? That Every time something close happens... Like, four interrupted last episode and today, Barberto. So, yeah, nothing... Like, a kiss hasn't actually happened. <laughs> By the church? The church gotta did it, dude. <laughs> I kinda wanted her to get up. I kinda wanted Nephi to just get up really quick and then force her to just like bonk on the fucking ground. <laughs> but, but she's nicer than me, so, you know. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Your kid's gone feral! She's a good person, Vor. Not every angel at night's bad. Is there a specific one? So obviously, you know, there needs to be like a... So it's not just any angel at night. It's like a specific night with like one of the 13 swords, right? Or was it one of the 12 swords? So... Ah, uh, shit. Is it actually Raphael? There's no way, right? If it is... Ooh. That's the path of revenge, yeah. 
どん底に叩き落として頼むから死なせてくれと懇願させること Is he teaching for the, the meta of torturing? And he's like, you're, you're taking it too quick. You need to make it last longer so you can really taste the revenge. Is that what he's saying? I'm sure Nephi would agree with us to a certain degree if we apply this scenario to the fucking evil elves that betrayed Nephi before. Okay. <laughs> you need to take revenge more seriously for. Build different. Kill them way too quick. Okay. <laughs> this is quite one hell of a father daughter bonding session. <laughs> really? We're doing it? <laughs> no way, right? Is this the similar kind of teaching? Like when a kid shows up with like a cigarette, or like the parents like catches a kid like with a cigarette or like some kind of interest in drinking. What the parent sometimes does is, all right, smoke the fucking entire pack in front of me right now and forces the kid to do so fucking much that they're just like so sick of it and they don't do it anymore. So is Zagan just like overloading, you know, four with all these different torture things to make her not want to, you know, go through revenge? About a church, right? Okay. Reconciliation faction? There's a separate group of angelic knights? Re Reconciliation faction. They want to coexist with the sorcerers? This sounds like a good guy. This voice though, do we know this voice? I don't think so. Okay, and then how do we get poisoned after that? It's gotta be Raphael. Like, is it as simple as Raphael? He's pretty big. And, and the voice does sound like him if it's dialed down a bit. So, like, it could totally be Raphael, right? And, like, if you think about it, all of the things that Raphael has done so far and not being just like this extreme person who views all sorcerers as bad people, it's gotta be Raphael. It sounds like him too. The, the physique matches. It's gotta be him. Who else would it be? It would be then a random knight that we've never even seen before. Then that's not really that fun, right? So it's gotta be Raphael. Yeah, like last episode, right? No. Right? Call out this name. Orobas. Orobas. Oh, nothing's really coming to me. Have we heard the name Orobas before? Maybe we have in the earlier episodes, but I just don't remember. Sorry. Orobas. Orobas is the name of our leader. Orobas. Maybe it was thrown around randomly when we were doing like studying, reading books. I don't know. So Orobas is the name of the Reconciliation Faction's leader. There it is. That timing, bro. That timing is crazy. Mm, nope. I'm. I don't think Raphael did any of that. I think Raphael probably is the reconciliation faction guy, though. That too. Probably the church, right? It's probably the church because they feel scared that you know the Chastil took the sword back. Raphael pretty much demanded that that sword be given back to Chastil because the sword chooses the owner, and that's another interesting question. Because the sword chooses the owner, if Chastiel is retired and doesn't have the sword anymore, it's kind of a waste because no one can use the sword anymore. So it's in the best interest of the church to kill off Chastiel, which may somehow reset the ownership contract between a sword and the owner, and then they can use the sword again. That kind of makes sense? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they knew. They fucking knew. As soon as he grabbed the thing, the little, the grab, you know, the little pinch they do. Yeah, yeah, that happens in every fucking rom com, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then the soundtrack immediately on point. Oh. 
Oh. All night long? Do I need to be you, Sagan? A man? <laughs> Wait, he will stay? Turning away, though. <laughs> this is not cheating, guys. We're turning away from her. Yeah, we're just gonna read. In the same room. But the entire time, we're, like, sharing the same oxygen and, like, the germ particles. Tobichi Origami would say that this is indirect kissing by just merely existing in the same room. So maybe we are cheating on Nephi right now. You want to be part of the happiness. Okay. Is she a fucking homewrecker, man? Maybe she can be concubine. Yeah, she can be just a maid. <laughs> That's a holy broom. Do the chores. Pay your rent. Four. So cute. Tail head? The fucking tail? tail head? That's a slur. It's not a slur, but it's her pony. It's like a little side tail thing, right? She has there, right? Damn, four! あいつの父親は政権所持者に殺されたそうだ。先に割り切れとは言わん。そこは理解しておけ。なら私はここ need to like confront the problem and come to a resolution. So what you're telling me is that little kid is a dragon supremacist Nazi. That's a clever way of using the CGI here, huh? Shaking the castle animation. Look at it. My, um, I, I, my brain is really rotten. As soon as I saw this, I don't know. I'm like, frog waifu? I'm like, yeah, right? I'm like, ooh, the curves. Like, what is wrong with my fucking brain, dude? It is fucking rotted. Thor did that to her. <laughs> Third incident. <laughs> Does I got teach this? Is this the pranking war? Yeah. This is a series of torturing, right? We can't let it end. So, the revenge is basically gonna be cute little pranks that Thor is gonna do to Chastiel to, like, savor the torture. Number <laughs> four. Hey, yo. But look how fucking smug she looks, bro. Holy shit, this chibi little evil four face is so cute. Hey, 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 careful, home wrecker. Catch yourself before you wreck yourself. But she is slowly actually getting rizzed up, huh? I think she is, yeah. That's how she draws Chastiel. <laughs> Look at the tail. It's so long and evil. Look at her fucking teeth. Thor's diaries, man. Banana <laughs> peel? <laughs> we got dummy ass fucking Mario Kart pranks, bro. You got a banana peel? How are you falling for this every fucking time? She got no hand-eye coordination. <laughs> it's very cute, though. It's very- it's a snake this time. Too easy. It'd be very interesting. Yeah, yo, they could have a whole separate fucking OVAs, like sites, like a little series, right? It'd be called like Valifor's Diaries or something, like Slime Diaries. And it'd be just like episodic episodes of like fun, cute things happening according to whatever she wrote, dude. Have we ever seen Nephi in a different hairstyle? She got this shit tied up this time. Hmm. Yeah. They have? They have? <laughs> I thought the most intimate thing they did was like a lap pillow. I feel like bathing together is more intimate than kissing. Br Last 
was did I miss something? Did we lose some? This is just confirmation this episode, right? I don't remember them fucking baiting together at all. Holy shit. Playful? <laughs> toys? Are toys involved? Okay, okay. Okay, it's four. It's four. Never mind. Never mind. I got baited. I got baited. I got baited. I'm like, why would you be so confident to say this without blushing? That's not like Nephi. It's four and Nephi. Baited. Yeah, it would have made sense that they would like skip kissing and go into bathing together immediately. It like, makes no sense, right? Oh my god. Zagan, of course. Duh. Now I'm here to say good job. Anything but killing, really. Of course. I love staying here. Please don't kick me out. Except killing Chastiel. Oh, this is too goddamn wholesome, man. Why is he such a good dad? <gasps> Lore? Backstory? Are we gonna see Raphael in the flashback? It's him. It's him, dude. Gray hair right there. It's him, dude. It's gotta be him, right? Well, I, I, it looks like him. By all means, it should be him, right? It's still not, it's like 99%, right? This is like 99% there. Haven't seen the face, so you can't confirm it. But it really fucking looks like him, right? Also, why, why is that dumpy so huge? You, you see the cape covering his dumpy? Yo, Raphael, what, what you be doing, my man? Oh. Gonna sneak into wait, is she, uh, I thought she was gonna sneak into like Zagana and Nephi's bed because she's like scared of the nightmare. But is she gonna climb up into Chastile's bed? Is she here to kill Chastile? Okay, little, little pinch, little, little pinch instead. Oh, look at look, oh, look at Nephi's little slippers, bro. Look at the blue slippers! <laughs> Maybe. Killed Chastiel? She ran away. No! No! Four ran away? No, this gotta be a good reason, right? There's got she must have some kind of like conflict. She's just running away from home for a bit because she doesn't feel comfortable with Chastiel around. But I'm sure it's not too big of a deal. On next episode, we can get like a happy resolution. Now, let's talk about not the fact that they fucking baited us with like bathing together. But who this person could be? By all means, it does look like, you know, Raphael. Gray hairish, kind of big stature. I could totally believe it's him. But at the same time, because they haven't shown us his, you know, face, we don't really know. And here's another thing, right? Here's another thing. We don't know who actually killed the dragon. Because Raphael showed up at the very end. What if someone else killed this guy, the dragon? And then Raphael, somehow out of respect, is here, you know, basically saying rest in peace to the dragon. Like, what, what if it's something wholesome like that? If it is, then we could have an actual, like, grandpa, you know, being introduced to a four kind of deal. And if it's not, maybe there's something wholesome about overcoming differences. And even though you kill dragons before, we'll be able to move forward and you can be my grandpa kind of deal. I'm not sure. Now, there's some other stuff happening behind the scenes too. I think the important thing is the reconciliation faction. Chastil got invited by a by a random dude who also kind of does look like, you know, the voice actor. Maybe it is Raphael if you dial it down and the physique it kind of matches. Another important name to remember is Orobas. I don't know where I heard this from. Maybe from a different show, a different series, but I don't think I really remember from this show. But there's a different group of people that are like angelic knights that believe that they can coexist with the sorcerers, which is a great thing. 
I really do hope that this is Raphael in disguise because he just seems like a person that is not a slave to the church, can think for himself and understand that it's not just black and white, there's nuances and maybe not all sorcerers are evil and maybe the church is just an evil piece of shit trying to frame the sorcerers like that so they can carry on with whatever evil narrative they have. But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content and until next time, take care.